All right, guys, I am back in California at my friend Bob's house. And uh, again, this is his house, kind of hanging out here for about a week or so. And in the back, down this uh, long driveway, lined with the palm trees in the back is his shop. So I'll just talk to you for a little bit while we're while I'm walking back here this way. Uh, I'm here this week because uh, one, I don't own a laser anymore and I need to make a new series of videos for my customers that buy machines from me, but also to offer to the general public uh, for sale to people that don't buy machines from me. Um, a new series called Perfecting the Cut on really how to get these machines dialed in and keep them dialed in and diagnose little cut quality problems, you know, when they pop up. Uh, but so we'll be working on that this week and you'll see more about that on the website. But. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for everything to drop out and we know we're near the maximum of what we can cut on a given thickness. And so let's just take a look. Here's the one we previous cut, previously cut. You can see the burr up around the edge on the squares and you see these are pretty, pretty clean. Might need to slow those down just a touch more. They have a little bit on them and the, and the, uh, the circles, the holes have nothing on them, but Hopefully that helps you out, something to look for, and we'll move on to the next module now. All right, this is gonna finish up this part of the nozzle or the uh, the module here on, on this part of the video. So you saw in there that uh, the machine's running full production and we're pretty happy with uh, the results that we're getting. I wanted to try to show you this at, at some angles where you can see it. And I'm trying to get the light where you can see this. So this is where they started, you know, when I got here, this is the settings they were using. And it's not bad, actually. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they were actually happy with that and they were gonna go with it. I'm just trying to hold this at certain angles where you can see the little, you know, the little burr on the edge. And you may not be able to see it in all, you know, in all areas, but if you rub your fingernail across it, you definitely can catch it. This one is about halfway through our process. We were making some improvements. It was definitely getting better. You can still just kind of faintly feel some stuff and you can see the holes, you know, we you can see a pretty no, noticeable burr there and then look at that same hole on this one and it's got a little nib right there but overall it is slick I mean you can't grab it with your fingernail the edges are perfect on it so with a little bit of time and finding the right focus finding the right speed and um, you know the uh, gas adjustments looking for the nozzle we ended up with back on a 1.5 nozzle uh, with this the 2.5 does clean it up a little bit, but man, you're using so much more nitrogen with that. So, all right guys, that'll be it for this section. And again, anything you're cutting with nitrogen, so stainless, you know, in this the same thickness, uh, 14 gauge or one, uh, around two millimeter, the same principles apply. So if you're cutting stainless, carbon steel, aluminum, you can generally use these same methods for the troubleshooting. All right, we're about to set up a production cutting job here. And one of the coolest things about these lasers is the edge seek so that you don't have to mess around with plate alignment or where the start position is. It'll find its own start position. So to do that, we're gonna go on the CNC tab in the controller. And then here you wanna click on edge seek. And then here it's gonna ask for our plate size. And we know this is 48 by 96. So it's 48 inches in the X and 96 in the Y. And you can, you can depending on how aggressive you wanna be, you can set this to whatever you want. Uh, we had it at a 30 foul plate margin, but we're gonna make it a zero plate margin to fit, fit this job in. So we're gonna just zero both of those out. Then after that, we wanna turn the follow on. 
and then you want to hit the uh, the three point mode to activate it. But hang on a second, so I can get the get it in here. All right, it's going to use the height sensing to find the edges and work to the very lowest corner at the uh, to set the work zero. All right, hit it. And if we lower the head down, you'll see that it's at the very tip corner. After that's complete, it will show you the actual skew angle of the sheet. And you can see that just placing it on there, it's about 0.13 degree out of square with the machine. 